Said the sign of the cross and said, "Ami wonya no miede ndu gracia." Describe her to us in detail. She's all beautiful. She had a spacious brow, quite tall. She's so young, and eyes that are shining so bright and well shaped. Did she look like a white woman? No, she had brownish complexion. Now, what did she wear? She wore white, but not pure white. She had inner garment, another garment again. She had a cave that reaches to the feet, and the cloud that surrounded her feet. And at the back, there's light shining so bright. And there are two things raining down at the back. It's two color. One is white, another one red, but not too thick. Okay, what pleased you the most about her, lady? There were a thousand things that pleased me. Can you tell us uh, some of them? Her beauty and smile. Okay, when you first saw her, were you afraid or happy? I was more afraid than anything else. Okay, whom did you first inform about the visions? One day I went to the farm to weed the cassava farm. Me, myself, Felicia, my sister, and my niece. So when we were about finishing, I saw a flash of light. I told them, they said they did not see anything. You know, I talked about it for some time. Then my sister said that maybe it was the reflection of the sun. Mm -hmm. And another time, my mother sent me to grant something from the engine I refused. So I saw the same woman again about three days later, when she has been appearing to me. I fainted. My mother and my father, they were running to get the doctor. When I recovered, they asked me what happened. I told them that I saw a very beautiful lady. So my father scolded me, is it because of the beautiful lady that they have been running to get the doctor? So he did not believe me. He said, maybe it's the devil or anything like that. Okay, when the story about the apparition was made known publicly, how did the local community react to it and to you in particular? They did not believe. Some say I didn't see anything. Some say maybe it is the devil. And my classmates in primary school, they were making jests of me. They did not believe at all the community. They were seriously against it. And when the parish priest came to the church and said that it could be from the devil, so I said, I wish the lady could go away from me. I asked myself whether I see her. Then I said to myself loud and clear, yes, I saw her. When I saw her again, I was happy and consoled. Now, did you hear about the apparitions of the Blessed Virgin Mary before her appearance at Okwe from anywhere? No. What language does Our Lady speak to you in? She speaks Idoma and a bit of English. In your opinion, what is the most important message? The most important message is prayer, especially the, the rosary, conversion to God, do penance and also to fast. Okay, what is the most important prophecy? I think the most important prophecy is a punishment from God for the whole world if they do not change. The distinctive prophecy is the great darkness, which our lady says is going to last for 72 hours. And in the end, she described it all as catastrophe. So what prophecies have already come true? Some of the prophecy that the world country is when our lady say in ninety three that in time to come that the place will not be enough for her children and that the parish priest is going to come back to believe and the community, so many people that were doubting at that time that they're going to come back to believe and that so many priests will come to interview me and it happened. Okay, what structures did the Blessed Virgin Mary request? She wanted the church to be built, the grotto and the spring. Okay, what statue does the, she want for the grotto? The military statue. What did she say about the shrine and its site? 
she said it should be big. Okay, when someone from Makudi asked about the Fatima consecration to the Immaculate Heart of Mary, what did your lady say? She, she became sad when I asked the question, and she looked sorrowful and said, it has not been properly fulfilled. Okay, when, our lady last, when did Our Lady last appear to you, and what was her message? It was on the 26th of December 1998 when I was praying. She appeared to me and said, will you be so kind so as to come down to Edribole tomorrow? I accepted. When it was so minutes to six, I went there. She appeared and said, do penance much penance, a lot of penance, make time to pray. She asked me to crawl on my knees, which I did. Then she asked me to hurry back to mass. She said, Ngo, and I waved back. Okay, what's the meaning of Ngo? Goodbye. Yeah. What do you think has been your biggest privilege? My biggest privilege is she helped me to love Jesus with all my heart. Okay, what message would you like to give to the believers and non-believers that will be watching this recording? Well, the message I have for them is to pray, go to Mass, to love Jesus with all their heart, through the heart of Mary. That's the message I have for them. Thank you very much. You're welcome. What benefits do people derive from traveling to the uh, miraculous site in Aope? Well, the best way to find out that is to try and get the Ayope message because <coughs> every edition of the Ayope message now carries stories of, uh, stories of cures. Uh, uh, that is the evidence. So many, each time, and at the, upper, at the pilgrimage, which goes, which is about once a month now, people come forward and testify Our Lady, how Our Lady has helped them, and that is the evidence. How do you convince thousands of skeptics that we have out there about the appearances of the Blessed Mother in our world? You can't. I don't know that because people argue with me, they wouldn't, I would have told them off really at the time I wasn't believing, you just have to pray. It's a gift to Our Lady. I suppose um, you must have one or two words of advice to our teeming viewers concerning the uh, apparitions of our Blessed Mother. Well, give us some parting thoughts. Of course. I think the main message is a prayer, of course. Pray, pray, pray. But the main, I think the main, you see, the mistake most people make in this life is they think it's this life that matters. That's the big mistake. They don't worry about the next. Heaven and hell and he and does exist, and that's what people forget these days. And then, incredibly, they seem to think there's no God, uh, no maker. This watch here, it's a good one. If I said no one made it, people would laugh at me. But the universe, which is existing, and can say no one made it. It's evolution. And what we have to remember too, that Jesus Christ as God came not to enjoy himself. Jesus came to suffer, to shed so much of his blood, and to be crucified. And every time we go to the Mass, it's a repetition of the same sacrifice. And that's why the Mass is so important. Our Lady said at Iope that it's the Mass that gives the greatest glory to God. And she's always exhorting us to go to Mass.